This instruction video is about conceptual models. A conceptual model is a representation of an explanatory theory. Simply put, it shows the key concepts of an explanatory theory and the hypothesized relationships between them. Regarding the key concepts in a conceptual model, two rules apply. The first rule states that the key concepts can be characterized as variables. A variable is any entity that can take on different values. The second rule states that the values a concept can take on should be specified and it should be indicated which values are intended to be included in the study. Let's consider the key concept hours of study as an example. Is this key concept a variable? Yes, because it can take on different values. And which values can it take on? Hours of study can only take on positive values, and we could, for instance, decide to include all possible values. The relationships between key concepts in a conceptual model are causal relationships. Causal relationships have two important properties, the direction and the strength. The direction of a causal relationship can either be positive, indicated by a plus sign, or negative, indicated by a minus sign. In a positive relationship, low values on the independent variable are associated with low values on the dependent variable, and high values on the independent variable are associated with high values on the dependent variable. A negative relationship implies that low values on the independent variable are associated with high values on the dependent variable, and high values on the independent variable are associated with low values on the dependent variable. The strength of a causal relationship can vary from no effect, through a weak effect, through a moderate effect, to a strong effect. A weak effect implies that a large change in the independent variable is required for only a small change in the dependent variable. On the other hand, a strong effect implies that only a small change in the independent variable is needed for a large change in the dependent variable. Conceptual models are often drawn as diagrams. The key concepts are represented by a short label and put in a box and the causal relationships are indicated by straight arrows and point from the independent variable to the dependent variable. In a conceptual model, four types of causal relationships can be distinguished, and we will give examples of each with a diagram. The first type of causal relationship is a direct effect. In this example, X has a direct effect on Y. There is a single straight arrow pointing from X to y. For example, hours of study has a positive direct effect on grade. The second type of causal relationship is an indirect effect. In this example, x has an indirect effect through y on z. A change in x leads to a change in y, and in turn, a change in y leads to a change in z. Variable y is also called a mediator variable. For example, grade has an indirect effect through self-esteem on happiness. A change in grade leads to a change in self-esteem, and a change in self-esteem leads to a change in happiness. The third type of causal relationship is an interaction effect. In this example, X has a direct effect on Z, but the strength of this effect depends on the level of another variable, Y. In other words, y has an effect on the relationship between x and z. The variable y is also referred to as moderator variable. The moderator variable could, for instance, be gender, and the effect of grade on self-esteem could be stronger for women than for men. The fourth type of causal relationship is a feedback effect. In this example, x has a direct effect on y, and y has a direct effect on x. This type of effect can be recognized by a double arrow 
and is also referred to as reciprocal effect. As an example, depression has a positive effect on crying. If you feel more depressed, you cry more. But crying also has a positive effect on depression. If you cry more, you will feel more depressed. Why do we make a conceptual model? The strength of a conceptual model is its simplicity. It provides a better overview of all relationships between key concepts. A conceptual model is often made in the early stage of a study to clarify what is known and not known. A conceptual model is key for developing research hypotheses, identifying key concepts to study and interpreting research results. To summarize, a conceptual model is a representation of an explanatory theory. It shows the key concepts of an explanatory theory and the hypothesized relationships between them.